this lesson, we are moving into chapter 11, which is about property dispositions. And remember from our previous talk that dispositions can be from sales, it can be from trading assets, it can be from gifting, it can also be from donating. So just because it says disposition does not necessarily mean that it's disposed of by trashing an asset, it can mean any way that we get rid of those business assets. So we want to first talk about the amount that we're going to use when we have the gain or loss on the disposition. So we need to talk about how do we determine that gain or loss. Again, we use that basis that we calculated from the prior lessons. And now we are going to get into how much did we receive from that disposition to calculate our gain or loss. Once we get that gain or loss, we want to talk about the different types of gain or loss recognized on those dispositions. So we're going to have to characterize that gain or loss. Is it going to be ordinary? Is it going to be capital? And then we'll get into these new concepts of 1231 gains and losses and also um, personal gains or losses. After we determine the type of the gain or loss, we can then look at the tax treatment. Each of the types are treated differently. So we want to look at the tax treatment of the gains or losses, as well as how we net those together. We talked briefly in a previous lesson about the netting process for our gains and losses, for our capital gains and losses. We also have a 1231 netting process as well that we need to talk about so that we can apply the proper tax treatment for that process. Next, we'll get into some non-recognition transactions and some like-kind exchanges, some involuntary conversions, some installment sales, and then finally, we will wrap up this chapter on property dispositions um, with a quick summary. So you'll see the different types of transactions that are recognized, the ones that are not recognized, and then some that have some special treatment, such as the involuntary conversions and the installment sales. So we want to be able to determine exactly what type the transaction will be, and then how that is treated differently through the taxation process. If you have any questions, please reach out and we'll be happy to help you. Have a great day.